Leading up to the 1985 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys had their eyes on Jerry Rice. Although Rice played at Division I AA in Mississippi Valley State University, he dominated the competition during his college career. The Starkville, Mississippi native totaled 224 catches and 3,295 receiving yards in his final two seasons. As a senior in 1984, Rice had an eye-popping 27 touchdown receptions and finished ninth in the Heisman Trophy balloting. But in part because of his slower speed and the fact he played at a lower level, Rice wasn't projected to go early in the first round. The Cowboys, who had the 17th overall pick and needed an explosive young receiver, were widely expected to select the two-time Division I AA All-American. Instead, the San Francisco 49ers traded three draft picks to the New England Patriots for the AFC team's first and third round picks. And because the Patriots picked 16th, the 49ers effectively stole Rice away from head coach Tom Landry, vice president of player personnel Gil Brandt, and the Cowboys. Or at least that's what one would have you believe. Longtime Cowboys receiver Drew Pearson worked for his former team as a scout in the mid-1980s, and he doesn't believe the team truly wanted Jerry Rice. In his 1990 book, God's Coach, then-Dallas columnist Skip Bayless spoke with Pearson, who said Brandt often refused to add players who he believed lacked intelligence. According to Pearson, Rice was one such player in Brandt and Landry's eyes. Quote, they, referring to Landry and Brandt, even talked bad about Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice, the best receiver in football today. They said his IQ wasn't high enough. I'm not saying a guy can be a dummy, but they always found company guys who never complained, end quote. For his part, Brandt has always insisted the Cowboys were more concerned about Rice's speed. In a 2020 Twitter thread, the Hall of Fame executive wrote, quote, we had our doubts because Rice ran a 4.640 yard dash and had the slowest short shuttle among receivers at that year's NFL Combine. It caused a real debate in our draft room, Brandt said, maybe the only one in my 30 years there. So with Rice off the board, Dallas used the 17th overall pick on Central Michigan defensive tackle Kevin Brooks. Although the 6'6 Brooks impressed in spurts with the Cowboys, Dallas eventually traded him to the Denver Broncos in the spring of 1989, shortly after Landry and Branch respected dismissals. As for Rice, he recorded 62 catches for 940 yards and 9 total touchdowns, 8 receiving and 1 rushing, in 10 regular season games against the Cowboys. Rice added 16 catches, 242 yards, and another 2 touchdowns in 3 postseason matchups with America's team. Not bad for someone whose speed and potentially intelligence may have scared the Cowboys away. So, what would have happened if the Cowboys found a way to select Rice in 1985? Would Dallas still have drafted Miami star wideout Michael Irvin in 1988? How would Rice have fared if he began his NFL career catching passes from Danny White rather than Joe Montana? And with Rice unavailable... Would the 49ers have drafted a receiver so early in 1985? Montana the Vance Johnson doesn't quite have the same ring as Montana. But here on Legacy Library, these are the chapters in sports we love exploring. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for more.